Hey, I'm Drew. Today, we're gonna tuft a rug with my cut pile tufting gun. I want it to be colorful because I have a lot of colorful yarn. I want it to be cool and I want it to be a square because I've been making a lot of circle rugs lately. <laughs> I've been making a lot of circle rugs lately, so I think a square rug would be cool. Let's do it. All right, boom, we got it clamped down to the table, ready to tough. I wanna to mention a couple things. First, if you wanna learn how to build this frame, I have a video on my channel showing you step-by-step -step how to make just like an easy tabletop tufting frame, super simple. And second is kind of a pro tip is here, I'm actually using burlap as the back. Um, I have used this like, I'm sure you've seen it, the primary cloth, the primary tufting monk's cloth before. And like, without a doubt, this stuff works better, it just, it does. The thing is though, this is like one-tenth the price. Like it's so much cheaper and it still gets the job done. I go this route because then I'm more comfortable just like making a bunch of rugs with my cost being a little lower. Pro tip, burlap. All right, here's some colors I grabbed. Uh, maybe I change it up halfway through, but that doesn't matter. I'm just gonna start with a square rug. <laughs> All right, I do have a plan now. I'm just gonna fill in each of these regions with different colors and have no two of the same color touching, I think it'll be a nice solid rug. Pink, 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 yellow, yellow, yellow. Little little shape of little shape of white <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna put this, the time lapse, in back this time. Did you enjoy your time back there? Okay, here's a little tip for you. To do curved edges, um, it helps a lot to go slow, kind of do it in slow bursts. Here, I'll show you. So instead of just like ripping it, you know, like, that's so hard to control. Hey. Instead, it's very helpful to do it in bursts. Because that's easy to control. <laughs> All right, tough thing's done. Ooh. Looks great. Next step, we're gonna put the adhesive on the back and let that dry overnight. Still stretched on the frame. That'll keep it from warping if you still have it tight on the frame. Adhesive time, yeah, adhesive time, yeah. All right, time to smear the adhesive on. Today I'm using uh, 
multi-purpose carpet adhesive. I got it at Menards or Home Depot or whatever. This absolutely massive, this massive bucket of it uh, was only like $20. So definitely, definitely recommend this stuff. Twenty four hours later. All right, it's been twenty four hours. Time to finish this rug off. A little tacky, but dry to the touch. What's left is we need to remove it from the frame, and then I'm gonna try a new technique for binding today. I've never done it before. Usually I do a whip stitch around the whole edge. It looks great, but very time consuming. Today I'm gonna do a waterfall bind, where you just fold the edges over, glue them down, and then put a backing on to kind of cover and clean up the whole thing. You'll see, probably, right now. All right, I'm gonna trim the corners so it folds in easier and then use some of this spray adhesive to hold it down. Alright, so a tip I'm finding useful, here I'll zoom in, is when you fold it over, you gotta pull the edge so the yarn is kind of coming over onto the bottom. Not quite all the way, but here I'll show you. Because if you just fold it over normal, I mean I'd do something like that, but then you flip it over and you can kind of see it under there, right? So you gotta kind of pull it tighter than that and have it more like this where you pull it over onto the bottom a bit. Boom. Looks pretty good, but we're not done yet. We gotta do a backing to cover all this extra work we did. For my backing, I'm just using this like, the cheapest cotton canvas you can find. I think it was just one of those painters drop cloths, but it's not the best backing, but like the burlap, it does the job, so I'm with it. I'm just gonna drape it across this, trace the edge of my rug, cut a little inside that, and then glue it on. All right, now to glue this on, definitely spray adhesive is a great move. The technique I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just do half of it, and then do the other half, just to make sure I have it all lined up. show you different types of binding techniques but this one I'm actually quite happy with this looks pretty sweet the edges I've never done it like that before so it's good to have that in my pocket thank you so much for watching my video on rugs please subscribe for more rugs I'm gonna be making another video like this week subscribe baby. <laughs> ah. Yeah!